Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all the good people of the tube. Hope you all today have been grand and all is well in your world. Welcome to the Tone City Pedal Extravaganza. Why is it called that? Let me show you. That's why! I'm a little bit overstimulated and a little bit overexcitable about all this, but all is well. So we have a lot of Tone City pedals to do today. And I'm going to attempt to go through every single one of these in one video. That's the that's the challenge today. I'm going to try and review all... Well, I'm going to play through every single one of these pedals in one video, everybody. That is the uh, thing today. Can I do it? I don't know. We're going to find out in a minute. So, um, just let you know what's going to happen. First, we're going to start off with tremolo phase chorus. Then we're going to go to reverb and delay. Then we're going to go to a compressor. Then we're going to go to the fuzz. And then we're going to go to uh, distortion. And then we're going to finish up with the overdrives. So uh, depending on how long these take, these might be in a separate video yet. But I'm going to attempt to do them all in one video. That is the challenge of the Tone City Pedal Extravaganza. So, um... So yeah, I'm not going to do too much talking, I want to do more playing. We're going to use the uh, Red Oz wall today. Uh, we're going to use the Boss Katana Artist plugged into that bottom Marshall cab, mic'd with an SM57. Um, just going to, I'm going to have the Katana set on my John Frusciante Clean-esque tone, which is basically the brown mode with the gain all the way down. Um, and there's a lot of videos on that. But uh, yeah, and I've never actually run that through a cab, so... I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what that sounds like. But the Tone City pedals are going to be the only pedals in the chain. Uh, there's not going to be any other pedals in the chain, apart from Mr. Looper, who's in the effects loop, but he's not in the front end. So uh, I need to say one thing really quickly. Massive thanks to the legendary Mr. Lee Anderton for supplying me with all these joyous things here to play with. So Lee... Thank you so much indeed. I really appreciate this. I love Tone City pedals so much, especially that one there. Um, and I'm really looking forward to trying all these out today. I, there's, there's, there's many I've wanted to try. That one, the Angel Wing Chorus, the Tiny Spring Reverb. Um, I've really wanted to try quite a lot of these, to be honest with you. So I'm really looking forward to going through them today. I had this one. And I sold it because I'm an idiot and I shouldn't have sold it because it's an amazing fuzz and it sounds like Eric Johnson and then it sounds like Jimi Hendrix. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I'm just going to let the sounds speak for themselves. Like I say, massive thanks to Leah Andertons. I can't, you know, just thank you so much. G generosity blows me away. So, um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into this and see if we can get through every single one of these pedals in one video. Like I say, that might not happen. There might be a part two yet, but we'll see anyway. So uh, enough talking, let's play. Actually, one more thing quickly. Uh, I'll be using the Tone City Pedal Substation 1 to power the pedals today. Like I said, I'll only, I'll only be using one output as we're not going to be having loads of pedals plugged into this. It's just going to be one at a time kind of thing. And then we'll do more videos down the line with them. Uh, I have more videos planned. But anyway, so that's the power we're going to be using today. So enough talking, let's play. Oh, by the way, the first one you're going to hear is the Tremble Tremolo.
Okie dokie, so that was a little bit stressful as I had to keep... To get through every pedal, I had to kind of like... Just keep an eye on the time. But my god, are these things awesome. Okay, there was only one pedal, which I didn't particularly like. And we'll get to that in a minute. I also uh, wasn't able to use the uh, Tone City pedal power thing. Um, as I was getting some weird interference from it, it was like this kind of noise. I'll, I'll show I'll show you in a minute what I, what I mean. It was really weird. I don't really know what was going on with it. It's, I don't know if it's the power supply is dodgy or the, the, the unit's dodgy or, or what, but I didn't use the power supply, the Tone City, what is it called? Power station or whatever it's called. I didn't use it because it just didn't... Like I say, but weird interference. I don't know where... I don't know, I don't know what the deal was. But I, was <clears throat> I was a bit disappointed, actually, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, so yeah, so these are the pedals that I really liked. These are the pedals I really loved. And this is the one pedal I didn't particularly like that much at all. Okay, so uh, let's go through them really quickly. So the Tremble, the first pedal we did, the Tremolo. I don't really use tremolo, but that's a really nice tremolo. Great, great tremolo pedal. Uh, the phaser was amazing, but again, I don't really use phase, but it reminded me of like Eddie Van Halen's Scott Gorham. Like, even more Scott Gorham, even though I feel I played more like Eddie Van Halen, but it reminded me of Scott Gorham. I don't know why. Well, Scott used a phaser. Really cool. Uh, the Wild Throw, the Rabia Massad distortion pedal, was awesome. Was really, really cool. Um, really loved it. Really, really cool. Not on my favourite list, but definitely awesome. Uh, in all fairness, apart from this one pedal, I recommend every single one of these. It's just that certain ones stuck out for me more than others. But, um, apart from this one, but we'll talk about that in a sec. Why? But these are my faves right there. Anyway, moving on. Compressor, the comp engine. Um, great compressor. But I already have my amps kind of compressing because I use just like uh, overdrive channels, so I kind of don't need it. But I love what it did because it cleaned up the signal, and it sounded great. And I bet any money, because like I say, this isn't going to be the only video I do on these pedals, everybody. So um, I bet any money this sounds amazing into a clean sounding amp, which I don't really like clean, clean. But I bet this sounds amazing. But yeah, great pedal, great compressor. Highly recommended from me. Okay, the Fox Fuzz. I'm not swearing, that is what it's called. This is a wicked fuzz. Like I said, I had one of these and I sold it. And I don't know why I sold it, because it's a really awesome fuzz. And it's a really... It's got a real dark Eric Johnson kind of violin-y thing, I feel, this thing. It's really nice. But then you flick the switch up and you get that purple haze tone. Great fuzz pedal. Highly recommend it. Great, great sound. Um... Wildfire distortion again, just Tone City's overdrives and distortions, just incredible. Apart from that one, but I'll talk about that in a sec. <laughs> but the wildfire is amazing, love it. Dry Martini, the Sean Connery pedal, that was amazing. That was really cool, love that one. Sweet Cream was great as well. Warmer, I fi if I remember correctly, it was a bit of a warmer overdrive. The Bad Horse was wicked, but although I ended up playing like a dead horse, so. Sorry for the playing during that one. And the AllSpark Boost. This thing was really cool, but it increased, like, you've got two switches on it where you can increase the highs and increase the lows. Um, I feel this would be an amazing pedal to stick in your effects loop or at the beginning, end, or wherever you think, yeah, basically amp into this thing for a volume boost, uh, uh, which is what it is anyway. But it, I reckon this would be a great, boost and we're gonna look into this bit more because i'm curious about this so we're gonna look into this pedal a bit more everybody in the future but yeah the all spark boost is a mega mega pedal mega pedal those pedals are wicked but these were my favorites and why let's explain angel wing chorus that is one of the nicest choruses i've ever heard it's just lush rich vibrant glorious i want to marry it and have it it's chorusy babies it's fantastic. The Angel Wing Chorus, Tone City, everybody. If you want a chorus pedal on a budget, there you go. Mm, I love it. I love that pedal. That's mega. Okay, Black Tea Distortion. This is rivaling the Golden Plexi. I am going to have to mess around with the Black Tea, with the Golden, mess around between the, the Black Tea and the Golden Plexi and see which one I prefer out of these two because this one 
is giving the Golden Plexi, my favourite Tone City pedal, a run for its money right now. So we're going to have to do a bit of a uh, an A-B between these two to find out which one I prefer and why. Because this is giving the Golden Plexi a run for money. As soon as I plugged this in, I was like... It was like, the, you know, the gates opened and the light shone through. So the Black Tea is beastly. Tiny spring. Awesome. Awesome reverb. Love it. To bits. It, it goes from like... It goes from, like, Gary Moore to Dick Dale to Jeff Buckley and beyond. And I love it. And it's got that kind of wibble that spring reverbs have, that kind of, like, wibbly-wobbly sound, which I really, really love. So, yeah, Tiny Spring. Love that reverb pedal. Tape Machine Delay. Analog de uh, de uh, yeah, analog delay pedal. Glorious textural delay. Like, I, did, uh, I, I did like it for certain things, but I was, like, you know, just, like, a textural thing. Just have it on, but like it just sits in the background, just adds thing. That rules the day. Uh, I want Tone Tone City to do a digital delay though, because I prefer digital delay to analog delay. I just like the the clarity of digital delay to analog. Analog, I like the darkness of analog for like I say to, for a textural thing, but I like the 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 kind of like replication of a of a digital delay more. But that's wicked. I love that. It's re it was really nice just to turn everything kind of down. And just kind of have it sit below your sound as like a wibble. It's great. Awesome! Golden Plexi. I don't need, I don't need to say anymore. Joyous pedal. The Kefir Lime. Now that pedal was a wicked, wicked overdrive. Really, really enjoyed that one. That was really cool. And I don't have any idea what that name means. If anybody knows what that name means, could they please tell me? I don't know. Anyway... The Greg Cox signature pedal, the Heat, this was awesome. That is a great pedal, everybody. I loved that pedal. It was great fun. It, it, and the, the thing I love about these Tone C pedals is because they're so small, there's not a lot of features on them. And I like that because it doesn't give you option paralysis. So what, you know, if you want more brightness, you turn the tone up. If you want less brightness, turn it down. If you want more gain, you turn it up, turn it down. They do exactly what they need to do. They're the, you know, they, they, they're, they're perfect in that way. They're the perfect pedal in that way. In the fact of you want more, you just turn things up. You want less, you turn it down and it's, it's all good. So yeah, the heat pedal, everybody. Mega, mega, mega overdrive pedal. And the Durple, the Pete, <coughs> Danish Pete pedal. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Danish Pete pedal there was mega as well. I like the mid-range dial on this one because I, I like my mid-range. Uh, although I ended up not using it as much, I thought like I would like the mid-range dial cranked to the teeth when I first looked at this pedal. Uh, by the way, everybody, today is the first time I'm playing most of these, apart from obviously the the Golden Plexi and the Fox Fuzz, which I've had in the past. Most of these I've never tried before until today, so I'm massively loving this. I bet you can't tell, but yeah, the the Danish Peak pedal, the Derpel, is wicked, really cool. And again, I like I said, I, I love mid-range. And this had more than I needed, which I liked even more. Because um, if I was to plug into like an amp that was kind of like, like a Fender, say, which lacked mid-range, that would be my pedal of choice because it, you can just crank up the mids. Uh, as, as it is with, the, uh, with the, uh, the artist, I have quite a lot of mids in there in the first place. So I didn't need as much mids from this. I had the mids at, at half at 12 o'clock and that's all I needed. I did boost it at one point, but it, it got a bit clunky. It didn't quite flow. It didn't have a have a flow to it. Anyway, so they're my favourites. Out of all the ones I just heard, like just, just on like first impressions, they're my favourites. They're my favourites as well, but not as much as these. And this is my least favourite. And this is, and I'll tell you why, the Mand, Mand, Mandragora. I just didn't like it tonally. Uh, it felt weird to play. Like, under the fingers, it felt strange. And in general, it just felt weird. I didn't like the sound of it, either. Like, it, was, it wasn't it was a bad sound, but it wasn't a sound for me. There was something that just felt really off about it. So, that's basically, like, you know, my... You know, that's, that's the one that just didn't work for me. I was trying to think of a really good analogy then, and I just came up absolutely empty. He's a clever one, is our Dave. Anyway... So, yeah, these are my faves. They're my faves. And this one just is kind of like... It just made me go, meh. 
You know, it didn't inspire me as much as all the others did. You know what I mean? It really didn't. And that, you know, and funny enough, actually, I really wanted to try the Mandragora for a long time. This is one of the pedals I really wanted to try. Uh, and I was, you know, just not wowed by it, if I'm being perfectly honest. It, it was just, it was, it was okay. But it wasn't like the rest, which were just awesome. You know, uh, these ones are the standouts to me. They're awesome. But um, these ones for me are just like ridiculous and I love them. And uh, I have more videos planned with these pedals, everybody. But anyway, so let me quickly show you what I mean by the by the Tone City pedals uh, power supply doing this weird interference. Just let you hear it because I don't... If anybody's got one of these, can they let me know in the comments below if they're having an issue with theirs? Because I don't know, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's faulty or whatnot. But uh, let me plug it in and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've got the the, uh, the pedal substation plugged into just yeah, just the angel wing. I'm not going to play anything like, but um, so this is powering the pedal fine. So the pedal powers everything okay. This powers up okay. But if I take the amp off standby, this is what you hear. Which will go away if I unplug the pedal. But as soon as I plug the pedal back in. So I don't know if that's a fault with this or or what the deal is there. It's a bit weird. Um, yeah, uh, I'm a bit, well, a little bit annoyed about that. Because this thing looks really cool. I mean... It, this looks really well built. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna contact Lee and uh, and see what he says about that because that might just uh, it might be faulty. Everybody, so don't uh, take my word for it that these do they all do that. This one just could have a fault in it. So anyway, but other than that, there is no issues here. These Tone City pedals are absolutely amazing. I love these Tone City pedals to death. And like I say, I have more videos planned with these. And also, people of YouTube, let me know if there's one pedal you want to see more of in its like own separate video. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll do a separate video on it uh, sometime in you know for for, for in the future. Um, I would love to do, I would love to do videos on every single one of them, but that's a lot of videos, and that's going to take a long time. And we'd be here next year still doing it, but. Um, but if there is any particular pedal you want to see more of, like I say, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get to doing a like an individual demo, if you will. And we'll look into the pedal a bit more in depth and whatnot. And like I say, I'll keep you updated on what's going on with this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna message Lee and uh, and find out if uh, it's it's just a fault with this unit because I'm kind of guessing it is because I've kind of um, I just had a quick scan around and there's no. I don't know. There's, there's no, no one. I, I can't. You know, I've, I've not found any issues with that yet. So I've had a bit of a look around on things, but I reckon it, just, it, it could just be a fault in this one, maybe, or maybe a fault in the power supply. I, I don't know. It might not be this. It might be the actual, uh, the actual lead that plugs into this. You know, or it could be even the uh, these. You know, the the uh, from the unit to the pedal. You know, the little patch, the little power patch leads. Who knows? But anyway, I'll keep you updated on that one. In the meantime, everybody, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, uh, let me know. As also, yes, and let me know in the comment section below which one was your favourite and why. Which pedal did you like out of all these and why? What was it about that one that really stuck out to you? It was like, oh my god! You know, uh, what was it? Um, the Black T, to me, is a scary pedal, like I say, because it's verging on my favourite pedal. Because uh, the Golden Plexi has always been like, a favourite of mine. But now the black tea's encroaching on its territory. You have to do an AB between those two. But anyway, and also this angel wing. Hmm. Glorious. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Have a great one.